Hey everyone, Thrill K9 here. Welcome back for more Disguise 3 Absence of Detention. In the last episode, we uh, congregated en masse and scared off some of the DS gentlemen. In this episode, we will finally be facing off against the superhero. Are you ready, guys? Because I am not. I need to go sell some of my equipment. All right, I guess I could have sold all of it. <laughs> oh well. Video game. Out of curiosity. Okay. I guess I don't have a bunch of managers and professionals. Oh well. That might be something I want to do in the future. Maybe. Anyway, finale, super battle, superhero's desire. Let's go. We can see a preview. That's neat. Let's go. Dad, if you were alive, this is where he would have been. The place for the ruler of the netherworld. Isn't that him right there in the back? <laughs> Mal. It's possible that Dad wishes for me to lose. Mal, I thought about it, but... Oh, you've come so far! But I have no business with a demon who's lost his evil heart. I can't even allow you to exist. Mal, you're just a weak child that failed to become the strongest overlord. What's with you always ranting about me being the strongest? Why do you care so much about some strongest overlord? <laughs> have you forgotten? So this is the end. The strongest overlord is no more, as are my adventures and battles. Are there no more strong overlords left anywhere? Without an overlord, I... I... No. I should just stop looking for impossible dreams. I should just end it with this. Ah! What was that power? To blast away me? The superhero? <laughs> I see! So that's it! My adventures won't end yet! I am a hero! And the strongest overlord is you! Do you remember yet, Mao? About that time? Did you go into the heart bank just now to trigger that memory? By the time I realized and got there, I saw only the ghost of our overlord and you, unconscious. What actually happened back then? I felt anger in the pit of my stomach, and then a furious beam of light. That's right. That fearful, potential power you showed me. I was charmed by it. In that young visage of yours, I saw the image of the strongest overlord who would ever live. And that's why you became Mr. Jeffrey and schemed up a bunch of stuff to bring out Mao's potential powers. Indeed. Two hundred years. It was so long, but felt like nothing when I thought about fighting the strongest overlord. But now that my dream's been shattered, it was the biggest waste of time ever. So you took the effort to raise an overlord with your very own hands just so you could defeat him? What kind of nerves do you have? It's beyond honor student level. You just wanted to maintain your pride by defeating Mao, the greatest overlord. Shameless. What a despicable hero. Yeah, I'm ashamed to admit I used to think he was a good badass role model. Don't be ashamed. Be proud. After all, I'm the strongest, greatest hero who's defeated many overlords and evil gods. And someone with 
quite a disturbed mind, might I add. You know what they say, you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. There are still many who praise you in the human world. I wonder what they'd think if they knew the truth. <laughs> but it couldn't be helped. There was no one to fight. Oh, Maz, I'll ask you again. What does a hero need? Courage and a heart full of love and justice. No, you're wrong. What a hero needs is evil, a villain! Huh? A hero in a time of peace is just a normal person. He's soon forgotten in the eyes of the public. Only when an evil threat to mankind appears will the public look to the hero and be thankful for his actions. The stronger the enemy, the more evil the demon, the more grateful the people are for the hero. That is the truth. Understand? In the end, a hero only exists when there is evil to fight. Without a villain, they cannot shine! But that's... it's wrong to think like that. I never seen such a crazy bastard, is it? And to think we were brainwashed by him. When the humans who were rescued by your tainted hands realize the truth, will they still flock to kiss them? The people would never want a hero like that. Besides, the human world already has a new hero. Hero Almaz, right? Princess, yes. You see, though I may seem calm, I am very furious right now. I will make you pay for your sins of driving Almaz to the brink of death and trying to destroy the human world. <laughs> oh, don't gang up and bully me now. It was all necessary. All of it. <laughs> I stay quiet and listen, and you continue to blab. It was only you alone that wanted any of this. Was a hero such a dinky existence that you couldn't shine without an enemy? Were you so pitiful that you had to watch out for what the people thought and be afraid of being forgotten? Is it a hero's job to raise an enemy just to make yourself look greater? Did you want praise for your efforts? You... You dare insult me, the superhero? Shut up, you fool! You're no hero nor human. You're just miserable evil who's clutching to distorted justice. The human world is what you should have been protecting. The moment you stop, you lost the right to be a hero! You tell him, Mal. A hero must act with courage to protect that which is precious. Huh. That's... For those whom you must protect, for things precious to you, a hero squeezes out every bit of courage he has. Yes, a guy like this Almaz is the true hero, don't you think? What? M me no one can rival my hero research, and I came to this conclusion. Do you object? Uh, nope. <laughs> I'm honored. <laughs> A hero's oath, huh? Those were just words I made up to sell my comic books. It looks like the hero I admired and hoped to become no longer exists. Yeah. A guy like this isn't even worth defeating. But as a demon, I need to get back at him for everything he did. <laughs> in the end, power speaks louder in this world. Whoever wins claims the justice. If you wish to prove me wrong, you shall have to kill me. The super hero. All right, here we go. Sir Aurum is a superhero. He is evidently a monster type. Hero's authority. Increase stats by 3% per enemy unit on the map. Just like in Chapter 6, you will want to solo him. Demon Slayer X. 
Shiron the transfer student. A vagabond transfer student on a search for his mortal enemy. Also searching for lunch money that he already spent. He does extra damage to humans. Aptitudes are attack and speed. No unique attacks. Beyond X. Girl who transforms around campus. Rumors say she's just a cosplay maniac. <laughs> Takes 50% da less damage from men. She has very high int. Again, nothing special. Gorillion. A man who performs miracles with efforts. He insists it's jutsu, but he's really just abnormally patient. <laughs> the unlosing ranger walks among us. I think I've already made this joke. Soul Crush. 50% of damage dealt also deals damage to SP. Very high speed. That is what we are doing here. You. Get dumped on. Yep, that happened. Hey, did we do it? Yep, kind of disappointing, really. We defeated him? The superhero? Kia! Your minds are as dull as sauceless pasta. Feeling strong is your greatest weakness. My sister would object to that. She loves pasta with no sauce. <laughs> Seeing you happy, thinking you actually won. <laughs> you truly are failures. This bird is going on about something out there. It's kind of distracting. <laughs> you still hide a secret spice? Correct. Isn't it standard for the last boss in a game like this to transform into his final form? Oh, we're doing one of those, huh? Damn you for using such a convenient game mechanic! Can't you fight fair? <laughs> <laughs> well, well. You sure do bark a lot. Already feeling like a beaten dog? To have died protecting a failure of a son like you. What a fool your father must have been. What? Protecting? Me? Dad? The Century Killer. The Overlord didn't use his final attack when he fought me. Well, to be honest, he couldn't use it. Why not? Even an evil Overlord was foolish enough to worry about hurting his son who was nearby if he used his final move. Even if you attacked his weak spot, Dad would never lose to you. That's what I believed, so that's why I told you. But I didn't expect him to have a weakness there. The truth can be ironic. How incomprehensible. The Overlord to have parental love? A perfect Overlord would never have hesitated. Let's just face it, Aurum. You have some very misguided opinions. Even redder than the ripest tomato. A lie? You mean all the evil deeds that are told in the human and netherworld are all false? That's right. It was all misinformation. An urban legend we told to keep us safe from stupid heroes. You sure seem to know a lot, Master. I am like Soup Stock, the silent force behind the scenes. An undercover teacher, under orders from our overlord. In case anything happened, he left me to take care of the rest. So I looked into the abnormal changes on campus. That was a quick wrap-up. The Overlord wished for a peaceful netherworld. He wanted a world where demons could enjoy a carefree life. He was indeed the strongest Overlord, and at the same time, he was the greatest demon king. How mighty foolish. Mighty foolish. An Overlord 
Everyone should always be cruel okay. and evil. Peace? If they don't want destruction, they shouldn't be an overlord. What is this peaceful life? There's a limit to foolishness, and he was way beyond it. Yeah, how foolish it was. Dad, distracted by his son, defeated simply because he was going easy, and his son who let it happen. How seriously stupid. Crap! Another Uh-oh, he's going into the Avatar state again. Mal, keep your cool. If you do this, you lose. <laughs> oh, is it my turn? It is. It is. <laughs> Damn, it's stronger than before. I don't think we'll be enough. Everyone, lend us your power. Yes, my lady. We were waiting for this moment. We finally get to show off our friendship power. Oh my, what a troublesome brat. Why hit diamonds with diamonds that will only crush them both? Look to the reeds for guidance. you showed me was nothing like this. I know your heart. Trust your friends. Isn't that your power? I command you! Show me your true strength! Yes! Everyone's unique flavors are blending together and rushing in. Just one more push! Boom! We can do it too. We risk our lives to stop the boss, huh? Our hearts, our guts. Now's the time to show them to our boss. What are you doing here? Get ready for the most electrifying move in beheading Kempo. <laughs> you guys are too close! It's stuffy in here! I'm so glad we're back to normal. Well, after being shoved into that stuffy crowd, anyone would come to their senses! <laughs> was friendship <laughs> though it did smell a little of sweat <laughs> Mao you are a failure beyond help you blew your last chance to beat me for that lame sentimental crap the only way to open the path to victory is to unleash the pure evil within you power like that I will what what is this power it's not the same as before it's not the power of evil don't you know a new power flows from inside my heart it's the power that you have forgotten you shall see what is this? I don't know this power! No, that's not true. It's a power you once had. The power of love and friendship. No, it's not! Stop embarrassing me! It's not what he just said! 
This is the energy of an unknown cosmos that has been asleep within me. It has nothing to do with love or friendship. <laughs> Whatever you say, Mal. <laughs> A power I've forgotten? Such nonsense. All right, then. Go die with your lame dreams. But before that, I'll let you save. We will settle this in the next area. Huh? If we continued the fight now, he would have had the advantage. Why? Because he's setting a trap for us. He's it. like Bowser at the end of Paper Mario. Alright, I am not going to save though, because the last time I saved over something like this, it, uh... My video got corrupted. <laughs> Go figure, right? Anyway, we will be taking on the Superhero Aurum in the next episode. I will see you guys then. Bye bye